guys, how's it going? So you already know what time it is. It's that BO3 Custom Zombies time. And today we have a map that is simply called Survival. Now this one stood out to me because something about it looked familiar. And I could be wrong, but uh, the guy that made this one in the description, it says a map made from a previous idea I had in 20, uh, Modern Warfare 2019 weapons. And, per and then like the whatever perks. Um... I was thinking that this map is one that he might have made a version of either on World at War uh, Custom Zombies and I had played, or maybe an, I played his earlier version on here on BO3. I'm really not sure. But either way, something about this just feels familiar, especially whenever I see that image right there. But not sure, but it was posted June 6th, last updated June 8th, it is June 15th at the time of playing it, so all we can do is hop in and give her a go. Uh, it does not, I don't know if you've seen that thing in the comment section, the reason I scrolled down there was because uh, it says there is no Bible ending, so, you know, if anything, we'll give her a nice round 20, round 31, a nice round 20 or round 30 run. Um, and just, you know, kind of fill out the map. If we end up unlocking the whole map and we're just, you know, running around twiddling our thumbs, then we'll end it at that point. <clears throat> but it just, I thought it'd be a good night to play Custom Zombies. It's thundering, it's storming outside. So first off, fingers crossed, power don't go off. It's not, doesn't seem like that bad of a storm, but, you know, you just got that nice apocalyptic uh, zombie vibe going on outside, so we might as well have it going on in here, you feel me? <clears throat> Jesus, my allergies are kicking my teeth in, <clears throat> but I got a wee swig of water here in the event that I need it already down most of the bottle, <clears throat> Jesus Christ, come on, we need a little bit more than a black screen to get things a-going, I never, ever, like, sometimes, like, zombie, custom zombie mats with smaller file sizes can take loader to long in, I don't know if that's something to do with, uh, you know, the creation process or rendering or something. I mean, normally whenever the map's loading in, the map's loading and trying to render. So here we go. For a second there, I thought things was broken. So we have got a nice nifty little, that is a, these are not trenches, bro. These are flipping, I don't even know what you'd call it. Like those are way too deep to be trenches. But so pair is supposed to be this way. Got quick revive right here. We'll go ahead and get that. So this room right here looks very nice and nifty. Looks like a room that could be very good for training unless they pop out of the ground. Then what guns we got? EBR-14. And is this the Olympia? No, 725. Okay. Boom. And then good old 1911. And this is the one that has like the flipping god-awful recoil. But... <clears throat> Bit, <clears throat> bit more realistic. Well, that right there is a free no nut execution. Oh, boom. Okay, let's rebuild the window. Okay, already got enough for the front door and have quicker vibes, so we're on the right track. <clears throat> do, do, do. Oh, and we're Tank Dempsey, so you know what? That's a good luck charm right there. Just got to be careful. Make sure, Just double check and make sure. So there's three windows. Okay, I'm having a hard time reaching our boys. I'm flipping orange over here. I'll let some of these guys get in. We'll go ahead and finish things off. Since we already got this much money, we might cop the EBR. Just, you know, sometimes when you're playing custom zombies, it can be a good idea to just go ahead and have a weapon. That way, if you get hung on something or, you know, just end up getting blocked off by a door you didn't know about, you do have a way to, you know, defend yourself. Okay, we'll get this guy and then go over here. Give this guy a little love tap. Had to be careful since I got slapped once already. And a free 400. So, bro, you get that 400, top off this little 80 right here. So, that's 100 points. So, we might as well go get this EBR. I'm sure there's a gun on the opposite side of this wall we're about to buy. But why not take the EBR? 10 rounds, 90 in the back pocket. Okay, hopefully they can't hop over this rail. 
MP5, ooh, maybe we'd have been better off to get that. Maybe I should have checked first, but I do like these big rooms, mate. <clears throat> these big rooms, uh, yeah, they, they kind of give me uh, Notch Duran Toten vibes in a way. Maybe that's just me, but just something about the way the map's laid out. Oh, boom, headshot. Oh, no. I did not, there, ooh, there must be a window back there that I did not notice. Or he popped out of the ground or something. What do we got over here? X-16, also a fan. Where did that guy come from? I'm so confused. I've not seen anybody pop out of the ground yet. <clears throat> okay, let's grab this hundred real quick. Okay, hip fire accuracy is not this thing's strong suit. Very curious to see what kind of death machine we get going for us. Boom. And just the old standard BO3 death machine. So, I'm going to kind of favor this corner over here so I can kind of just double check and make sure. There could be a hole in the roof. It is kind of dark, so it's hard to see. They're already starting to meander at a decent pace. Yeah, still nothing behind us, so I, I'm really curious to what happened a minute ago. I'm liking the fact we still got a nice nifty one shot to the head, and this thing's fire rate. It's not completely, like, it's not to where you can fully uh, take advantage of your, your trigger finger when firing, but it's not, a, it's not bad for the damage that we get to the head. Okay, so we should have a couple more coming from upstairs. Let's go ahead and kind of move towards a pair. 1250. Okay, we're in here. Is this the VKL? VLK. Okay, so here is the mule kicks. Fifteen hundred, we got that. Boom. Mystery box. Double tap. See if we can see what's over here. Hmm. Probably should have done a better job of overlooking uh, over at when we was in spawn. Two Gs, of course it is. Party's over, boys. Fresh out of well, you know what? With that being said, we can easily hit two Gs by next round. Ooh, a Scar 17. Let's go, baby. Now I got to get back to where I came from. Okay, so I think I'm still going to move around in this room. There's only, now we should essentially be able to look out for anything that would have been coming from this direction beforehand. Oh, and we got dogs. Well, at least that's a reliable uh, max ammo for us. Okay, so it seems like they're all spawning upstairs. Or at least the first two are. Okay, that one's upstairs. For you. See what the EBR does to him. Boom, max ammo. One shot to the noggin, I like it. So we almost got our two G's just from the old doggy round. I just hope that even though we have our planned dog rounds, I hope there's still some, you know, factored in uh, max ammos that drop for power-ups.
And, bro, they gotta be spawning, like, out, just out of the ground out here, which is... Unless they just jump over the top, that's also possible. Okay. Gotta do the fancy footworks now that they're, they're speeding up a bit. But we should... I don't know by the end of this round if we get power on because we gotta we gotta figure out where jug is and those those gate doors out there are pretty expensive oh hello and there's also a part of me that feels like jug is going to end up being behind that door over there but i'm not willing to, to bet the 1500 points it costs to do so i wish you could see through that glass Okay, you know what, I think that you can fire this thing faster than I than it felt like at first. Now that I'm actually just kind of really giving it to it. But it's it's not as fast as you could if there was no fire cap whatsoever. Like, there's definitely some restriction, some type of governor. Okay, let's go. In theory, by the time we kill these zombies, if Jug was also behind this door, then... Wait. Okay, I'm glad I noticed this. Okay, window, shelves, power. Got the Dragonov 2G, so it must be decent. What perk we got? PhD. So it opens up both sides, so you can run straight through. We got this gate over here. Let's pop out. I mean, the wonder fizz is over here regardless. Jug, baby! So at least we know where it's at. M4 Classic. I like it. And what is is this? A, is this like a w empty hallway? Ooh, pack a punch. So, that means there's nothing special we gotta do for Pack-A-Punch. That makes our life a whole lot simpler. So, other than that other door that costs 1,500 points, we have got the map open and ready for business. Okay, model 680. Okay, now we got another door, 1250. But I'm gonna go back to our main room. Took me a second there. Where this has got such a, like, the same shape. Nope. Makes things a wee bit more confuzzling. So, yeah, now we just gotta survive this round, and we are home free, brothers. Unless we get in some really stupid situation with the... With a corner or one of these poles or something, I've not done a, I've not done my usual good job of like really checking these, checking these corners. But for this to be a flat box magazine, even without speed cola, I really feel like the reload speed should be a bit better. Man, and it took, it's taken them 20 years to spawn in. Especially since we only got a 20 round mag. I mean, come on now. Okay, gotta watch that one so they don't. So they're about to break through it. So we'll have enough for Jug. We can either go for a door or buy a secondary weapon. And I think a secondary or a second weapon is in order. I mean, we got we got two homies out there. Normally got a couple slow fellas walking down the stairs. You don't want to trip and fall. Maybe not. Okay. Yeah, so we'll let these guys get in here so I can squeeze by them. Don't think there's nothing else going on. So we can go this way. What gun is this? 
M4. Okay, that's what I was thinking. It looked like M because it had that buffer tube on the back, and I was like, what kind of flipping coin the garbage is that? Just a little something to take the edge off. Bring it on, flesh bags. I'll bet you bare knuckle if I have to. And M4A1, let's go. That's a burn through the ammo too fast. And one shot to the noggin. Yeah, we'll probably pack a punch the M4, honestly. The M4A1 is just it's so many people's favorite gun that that I would say that they probably, you know, done something special for it. So we might we might try to save up and even instead of the doors, just go ahead and get us a nice powerful weapon and have something powerful pack a punch for if we get backed into a corner and then we'll worry about like speed cola has got to be behind one of these doors. So this thing is a two to the body, one to the head. Okay, perfect for insta kill. And round nine. So, 2,940 points. By the end of the next round, we should be... Well, it'll probably be dogs after this round. So, after that, we'll definitely... We should have enough to pack a punch. But we'll do the next round after that because it's always a pain to save one dog. You can flip and look at them sideways and they kill themselves, you know? Still one shot to the head. I am surprised, but... You know, it is a it is a nice 308, so that means it's doing its job. I just wish you could make it semi-automatic. That's one thing. That's the thing that I love about uh, you know, like Modern Warfare and like what the newer Call of Duties is. You can choose for most weapons, like the select fire. Like if they would, if they had select fire in real life, then you can. Choose select fire. Gotta be really careful running near that door, cause oh my yes, give me the headshots, baby. Give me head, daddy. Nyong. Yo, ankle biter. Is he hiding behind the post? Never look a gift horse in the mouth or in the ass. Those fuckers can really kick. See, you know, now that I'm thinking about it, I really don't know if I should pack a punch to scar or the M4. Let's use the M4 against dogs. I just like the fire rate of the M4 feels right. For like a good solid weapon. Oh, hello. Yeah, I prefer for the dogs to spawn down here because then we ain't gotta wait as long for them to come all the way down the stairs. Here, we'll we'll use the M4 a lot more this round so we can get a better idea of you know like which one because this this scar is hitting hard and we would have a larger ammo capacity and. A lot of other nice perks if we upgraded it, so. Got to weigh our options. Plus, I'm not sure what wonder weapons are on here. I'm assuming probably the Raygun Mark II is. This feels like a map that would be dope with a Thunder Gun mode. Like, just like running them down these trenches and like just blasting them across the map. Okay, so... So accuracy much better with the scar.
like I'm wanting to. Oh, that's the things you got to worry about in custom zombies. Oh, hello. I mean, we got on the stairs. Okay. That is pretty dang solid. Yeah, like I said, just because it's such a fan favorite, I'm going to pack a punch this thing. Okay, sweet. We got crawlers. I, I knew it this way. God dang it, what have I done? <laughs> this way. No. This way. <laughs> That's right, it loops back through for yep, that's it. That's that's what it is. Oh the K the R not ooh, I bet that's good. So many options. We could pack a punch both, but I'm just gonna pack a punch one for now. And this becomes the M4 Significant? 70 rounds, 630. Nice. Oh, and we get a master key, which is, like, awesome. So, I'm pretty satisfied with our purchase. Um, now, we need to see what's in these other doors. Actually, and let's hit the Wonder Fizz, too, because we might get speed. Electric Cherry, also good. Heck, I mean, with the, the flipping things that are on here, we might as well just Wonder Fizz it all the way, because it should be cheaper in the long run. Oh, no, not Vulture Ray. But then we can know what's behind the doors. That's a dead shot. That's mule kick. By God, where's speed at? Okay, Wonder Fizz is not this location. PhD. So confused. I don't want to buy Wonder Fizz. I mean, I don't want to buy a double tap without Wonder Fizz. Does Wonder Fizz have a... Don't quite get what the deal with the green... With the green light is. Well, I mean, I'm not going to spend... Or waste a bunch of time looking for it. Yeah, we'll figure it out. I'm gonna pop the box just to see what. So I see ray gun, wonder waff. Okay, holder 26. I will take the holder 26. To be worried. So AR, that's a sub. Okay, here's our wonder fizz in this room. Maybe it's back here and it's just not working. But I think I'm going to still leave this door closed. Just... The electric cherry will help us out a lot either way. Yeah, I'm hoping stamina up's on here. 
Okay, yes, that's double tap. We're going to use our M4 Genificant. So a two shot. Master key is a one. And with the, now that we got flipping, uh, what do you call it? We're, now that we got Vulture Aid, we essentially have unlimited ammo for it because if it's a one shot and then you can pick up your you can pick your bullet back up so you can spam with this thing very very noticeably limited range okay let's go back to regular I mean, it really is. It is worth, like, upgrading your weapon early on. Okay, let's hit the old Wonder Fizz. Okay, boom, slide of hand. No gosh darn clue where the thing's located, but... Wait, what is this? Is this stamina up? It looks like stamina up or double tap. Stamina up! Let's go, baby! So our homeboys are getting pretty fast. That was a horrible throw. So stamina up will make doing our rounds right here a lot easier. And then if we get mule kick, bro, we'll be getting well more than our money's worth out of this little machine and then we could buy at that point it'd still be more worthwhile to buy the uh to get double tap from the wonder fizz okay we can't be letting the upgraded gun have all the fun you know gotta give the reg boys a chance to get some meat in their teeth Okay, teddy bear, no, a problem. Okay, yeah, let's get double tap. At least we know where it's at. And then, let's go ahead and buy these other two doors. Did not mean to do I don't know what I'm doing. I was just... Never mind, I'm glad I did it. Yeah, boy, I'm not even mad. Oh, and here's the Wonder Fizz, so I guess it worked out for the better. Mule kick, perfect timing too. So we got our thunder gun. We switch to the thunder gun, and then let's buy. Yeah, let's buy a shotgun. Why not? We can buy this door. No, I did not even think that that would have been the same door. God dang it. Okay, well, we can we can work with that. We didn't buy double tap. That's mm, all timers hit hard, brother. So it goes model 680 thunder guns. So that's actually pretty perfect. And then we'll have our M4. Let's try the shoddy on the dogs. Perfect. Model 680, very fun to use. So let's see, we're about 28, 29 minutes into the video, so we can, uh, I guess we can do round 30. I mean, there's not a lot more to do. I'd kind of like to pack a punch this Model 680 just to see what we can do with it, and also just see what it's named, because I'm sure it'll have a funky name.
But yeah, we gotta be really mindful here because we've got this new... We've got this new avenue for them to spawn in. This thing is one-shotting these homies, bruh. We don't even have double tap. Okay, hopefully by the end of this round we can have about 7,000 points because that would allow us to pack a punch, also get double tap. So that's one of the main reasons why I'm using this because this should be, in theory, better for getting points. Oh, and this is definitely better for getting points here. Just don't let them get too close behind me. And look at that. We have got, we have hit our quota. Gonna try to make these homies a crawler. Okay. Whack them. And the fastest way to pack a punch should be this way. There's really no point in Tiger Punching the Thunder Gun, because the Thunder Gun's always, you know, it's the same old, same old Thunder Gun whenever you pack a punch it. I'm a little disappointed at the at the camos. I mean I would I prefer a nice uh So this thing's still pump action, a relatively slow cycle. Let's go get double tap and see if that makes much of a difference. We've got that fast crawler. So it shouldn't take him too long to get back to the original room. I could drink this all day if I could afford it. Okay, there's a room. Actually, if we go through here, you might cut through this. Yes, sir. So this is the mutated 680 impulsive undead equalizer. That is a mouthful and a half. Jesus. Come give me a hug. Ah, itchy. So I'm curious what kind of collat damage this thing is working with. So I know we got two down right there. Range is pretty good. It looks like we're still firing some buckshot. Not, not rocking with the slugs. But we're getting slug range out of it. Oh, I just, I just nicked his arm. And then, it, what we do, we load like what? Is either five or four rounds at a time. And, bro, with the collapse you get and the amount of rounds that you already have with this shotgun, like, you don't even, like, it, it'd be a while before I think you'd start needing maxes. That one zombie must have blended it in with a perk or something because it looked like something funky happened. Wait, so we don't have dead shots? Since I have this M this uh, M4, I might take and cop the uh, dead shot. Oh, I don't know why I did that, but he died. So if anybody asks, I meant to do it. I mean, that range right there to get, be getting hit fire kills with a shoddy pack a punch or not is pretty ridiculous. Even for round 17.
And then, too, with the shoddy, you have so many opportunities to take advantage of the electric cherry. That... Oh, 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 I thought the round was about over. This gun's so good, it's making me, uh, it's taking the edge off, you know? Yeah, they definitely overdid it with the shotguns. I'll, I'll give them that. So now I think we have every perk on the map. I don't think there's anything else left to acquire. You just play around with the dog. I mean, play around with the uh, weapons a bit. But when we're using this shotgun, we don't really have the most in terms of... Uh, I kind of feel like this map gives the dogs an even more creepy feel, like a, a creepier ambiance, if you will. Here we go. We'll take and use this thing a bit this round, get some more points, because I want to keep that shoddy but we might go buy a different weapon from either the box or just off the wall and pack a punch it to see, just, well, just have some fun. I'm disappointed in the amount of, like, the recoil that this thing has. Like, I, I don't know if they, you know, just brought it directly over or how that works, if they messed with the, uh, like, adjusted the stats at all, but it has some, like, I'm, have to, I'm really compensating on my with my joystick. Like, I'm pulling down pretty hard. Uh, or I'm pulling down a lot, I guess I'll just say, to, uh, to maintain... A decent level of accuracy here. Oh my gosh, that could have been bad. If a zombie had been coming out of that window and caught me at that post, that could have been game over. Let's try to get an idea of how many we got left. Checking the alleys. Okay, I think this is the last guy. Box, box, box. Probably going to get the teddy bear because we've been... You're never alone Ooh. Okay, I don't want to have two shotguns. Like, I just don't. No, don't die, please. Or is that a horse? I was about to say, you have so much to live for. Like your death. Ooh, yes. Oh my god, I did it again. Yes, I guess this Pack-A-Punch room really was meant to be like kind of a hold your ground area. Three round burst, prefer to have it single fire, but I guess three round burst is still better than fully automatic. I still don't trust myself to get back where I need to go. Oh, but it's right here beside the thing. Never mind. I knew that already. One burst to the body. He was already wounded, but considering what it done just with some of the other weapons, it seems like we're in for a nice nifty treat, so... I am going to continue playing, but i got to change my seat and position. So this is what I need you guys to let me know in the comments section, is with the custom zombies, it, like, if there's not a Bible ending, and at this point we've already opened up all the map, like, what do you want me to do? Oh my god, this has a master key too? Like, when you combine the ammunition and the damage of both... Well, we ain't got two master keys now, do we? If we had both of the weapons, 
Like the uh did not mean I did not want that. Oh, so it does, it still it takes all three rounds getting on target to actually uh do your dirty work for you. Unless it's insta kill. We got more zombies per round than usual. Boom. Alrighty. Just hoping for a little bit more point action. You know, give me some of that PO or uh, point action. I don't understand why it makes the, like, you, I don't know if it'll pick it up because the way I got my audio adjusted, but whenever you change the master key, it, uh, it makes the sound of your optic zooming in and out. I'm not sure what that's all about. Let's see if it's still just as strong. Seems to be, baby. And, yep, you can spam it too, so that's something. Probably not as good as their, sh as their actual shoddy here. We're still getting slug range collapse, two pieces. So it's a really tight grouping that carries a ridiculous range. Let's see what the Thunder Gun does, just for the funds. It does what Thunder Gun does. Can we reload it? No, we cannot. Come on, you sorry pieces of trash. Make my do jig happy. And you get, bro, you can, this thing burst fires fast, too. Like, I mean, that's as fast as it'll go, but still, that's, for the damage, you gotta take it into account. 22, let's go. Okay, let's take in precision these puppies. Okay, it sounds like they both spawned up top. I'm going to try getting over here. Okay, it sounds like the other one was up top. Okay, one was definitely up top. Okay, last one. Let's hit him with the master key. See if we can kill him from this range. Yep. So, yeah, bro, this is awesome. This is a great, fun map. Broski, whoever made it, uh, you got me props. Thumbs up. Another great map, you know, if you somebody likes to have custom zombies installed, uh, you know, for whenever, let's say, you know, your internet goes down or you have it on a travel, like a laptop, and you play it whenever you travel or go somewhere else to a family of friends, a flipping gay uncle, who knows, uh, then I would think this would be a great map to, you know, be able to play offline. Because there's so many guns you can, like, explore and up, like, pack a punch and just play around with. The ADS time is, like, if you, like, doing a quick scope motion, it's kind of a funky looking animation, but you got good ADS time. Don't want it, don't want it, don't want it.
I have no clue how those three rounds missed that guy, but they hello. I think mowing through and making progress. Boom, 24, and we got 45 rounds, 243 in the back pocket, 20 and 200, and then 2 and 12. So, easily could go to round 30. We'll play this round, get to round 25, and we'll call our quits for this map. That'll put us probably right around just, just under the one-hour mark. So, it should satisfy the people that like long custom zombie matches, or, yeah, there you go, that's the word. And then people who don't want, you know, a two-hour... Thing, but you got to see some fun zombie gameplay, a fun little map here, and uh, you know just just the carnage. There's something there's something peaceful and relaxing about watching uh, zombie meat fly. Yep, there they go. Gonna stand back up. Bunch of cheaters. Okay, we don't want the hammer, because we laying that hammer down. Oh, hello. Watch me jinx myself. I should say we're going to round 99, that way we get to 25 real easy. Okay, I'm not going to get the nuke, even though that would speed things up, because I'm just having too much fun popping these pussies. Hand out of these, ladies and gentle titties. Still got the nuke, still got a max ammo, so we finishing her out fully loaded. But, there you have it. That is survival, so that's what this map's all about. You could, This would be a great map, you know, to... Doing a legit survival run on, see how long you can make it, test your training skills, practice your training skills. But with that being said, this is that's the end of this one. So as always, make sure you hit that thumbs up button, subscribe if you haven't already share your friends, check the link in the description of my other channels, especially Pro Calibre HQ. Just uploaded a new camping video on there. Dug a foxhole in the woods and the flipping heat and humidity, slipping that SOB overnight, and that's all I'm gonna tell you. You just have to go see the rest. Um but yeah, so do that. Hit me up in the comments section. And until the next one, adios.